Hi, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our RPG scroller series. I was looking at my other videos and I realized everything looked very, very small. So what I'm going to do is go to display settings and instead of using the recommended resolution here on my big display, I'm going to choose a lower resolution, something like uh, this. Uh, no, 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 totally not that. Um, aha! I think this one will be good enough. Now if I go to OBS, you'll see that the screen is going to be much bigger. So I want to increase the size so it occupies the whole screen. And now you should be able to see unity with much bigger letters so i really want you to tell me in the comments if you want me to you want me to keep this resolution or you want me to go back to how i used to do them usually so please let me know in the comments so i realized we have several bugs in the game uh, we can't move and jump at the same time and when we jump and attack the jump animation is all glitchy and even though now we won't attack if we click on the UI, if we close this panel, so if I cancel it, the player still attacks. And this cancel button does not work. So let's fix all these things. Let's begin with our inventory. You see, if we click on any item, everything works fine. But as soon as we click in something that is not an item, for example, this part of the inventory or slot, you will see we'll get a null reference exception. So let's double click inside here and you will see that the drag item because we were not clicking on an item. So our drag item is null. So what we can do to fix this is go up here after we try to set our drag item. And we are going to check if drag item is null. So really simple. We just type if drag item equals null, then we will return. So return will just tell Unity to stop this function right here and not run the rest of the code of that function. So if we go now to Unity and we try it again, we can click on the items and we can also click on any part of the UI and no error will pop up. But now there is a problem. After we clicked on this slot, we can no longer drag our items. So let's go one more time to our inventory controller and now here, when we check if the Raycast result has the component item, we want to add an else case. So this means that if Raycast result is not an item, we want to clear the Raycast result. Because what happened is that we set the slot as the first element of this Raycast result. So the next time we try to click on an item, the first result was always a slot because we never clear the results since we were returning here before we can actually clear the results. So that's it. We just clear the results. And then since the drag item is null, the function is going to return. Let's try now. And we can drag items. We can move them around. And if we click on a slot, then we can still drag the rest of the items. Very well. Let's make this cancel button work. Let's go back to the inventory controller. And in the start function, we want to set the cancel button. So it's really simple. We will see here our canvas. There is the inventory and we just need to follow the hierarchy all the way to the cancel button. So in my case is background buttons cancel. So I'm going to go and type transform find background buttons cancel and I want to get the button component so get component button and we are going to add an on click dot add listener and we will add a lambda expression inside here so inside here we just want to type game object dot set active false And our cancel button should close our inventory. But you will realize one problem and is our character still attacks when we close this window. 
This happens because the inventory closes before our input manager checks if it's hitting on a UI element. And I realize I've been using Visual Studio. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to keep using mono behavior on the next episode. Our input manager checks if we're clicking on the UI, but that was that happened after we closed our window. So the input manager says, okay, you didn't click on top of anything. So how we're going to fix this is go back to our inventory controller and we're going to make an iEnumerator function. And if you don't know what an iEnumerator is, go to see the video I made about them in the card up here or in the link in the description. We made a coroutine and I will call it toggle off. And what this coroutine is going to do is wait. So we type yield return new and we want to wait for the end of frame. That way our input manager can check whether we're clicking on a UI object or not before we close that window. So now we're going to bring this here. In our Lambda expression, we used to have this set active false. We're going to cut it and place it down here after we do our wait. And the last thing is call our core routine. So we just type start core routine, toggle off, and there you go. So now we can go back to Unity and try this. So if now, we press on cancel, you will see that the window's closed and our character is not attacking. Now we have to do the same thing for our quest window. When we cancel, you see our character still attacks. So we're going to go to our UI manager and here we have all our quest stuff. And what we want to do is replace all these set active false Lambda expressions, we want to replace them with the core routine we just created. So we're going to copy the same core routine from inventory controller. So I'm going to copy toggle off. I'm going to copy this in the UI manager. So I'm just going to place it here. So I enumerator, but now since we might have different game objects, we're going to pass a game object as a parameter. So we know what game object we need to toggle off. So here, instead of game object, we're going to type go dot set active false. So now we just have to find all the places where we set off a window and we just need to replace them with start core routine, toggle off, and we provide the game object as a parameter here. And then we can get rid of this line. Do the same down here and we should be ready to try it. So let's try this, click on the NPC, we cancel and we are not attacking. We accept the quest, we accept it and now we cancel and we're not attacking. So that's great. So now we can cancel our windows and we won't have an undesired attack glitch and we don't have any other bug in our inventory so we can drag the items and after we press on different elements our items will not get stuck in one slot so congratulations if you followed this far so right now our jump is like this so i jump and just go up i keep moving just a little bit the animation is shaky i can attack on the air and i don't know if that's what we intend yet so on the next video we will be fixing the jump so now, right now you see I fixed it. I can run and jump. I can jump and move a little bit after I jump. I can change my direction once I jump. And if you see my animations, I fixed them a little bit so that they won't jump all the way around. That's pretty cool. And we will be doing that on the next video. So that's all the time we have for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like this video, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any question, please let me know. And I, again, I want to thank you all for your support. You are wonderful. And I will see you on the next one. Adios.